Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to yet another Coinsider live stream. A uh, quick mic, ch mic check, if you don't mind. Do I sound loud and clear? Um, let me know in the comments. And um, as you can tell, I'm not in my usual place. I'm traveling right now. I'm actually in Asia for a little bit. But bull market's still here, so we can't really rest, right? We need to do the same thing we've been doing. Um, our usual live streams, if you're new here, then how we do these live streams is it's really free flowing Q&A. You guys ask me to look into various projects and you share alpha with each other. So we don't, um, it's not only me shilling my bags, it's you guys doing sharing decentralized alpha with each other. Like I do a lot of research in the crypto space. My crypto knowledge is advanced and so is my team's. But we still can't look at all the thousands of promising projects out there, right? We just can't. It's impossible. There's too many things going on in the crypto world. So that's why these streams are so important for y'all to join as often as possible. Because we share decentralized alpha that people are like, hey, maybe I, I like that project. It sounds up my alley. I like its sector. I like its tokenomics. I like the news that just happened to it right so you take that and you may buy something i'm not buying every single one but you may and you may buy one that you think is promising and it may turn out to be a really great trade or investment for you right so that's that's the point guys that's the point of these live streams and i don't think any other channel in the crypto world does this type of stream so this is unique to coincider as of now um okay so let us go into screen share. Oh, wait, before I screen share, um, this stream is brought to you by our partner and sponsor, Three Commas. More on them in a bit. All right. So there has been quite the big correction lately um, for Bitcoin and... Wow, look at this. All-time highs and then quite a big correction. Don't know if it's over yet. Maybe the worst is over. But a lot of big meme coins got hit hard. Um, and I think a flush was necessary. It was getting too euphoric. Like this fear and greed index was at extreme greed. Wow, look. Um, let's, one month extreme greed for way too long it never stays there that long so it must drop after a while and now it's kind of more chill but y'all have been aping into meme coins like someone sent some guy posted a solana address and got 10 million dollars in like pre-sale and then he accidentally burnt it all like that was like slurf how stupid man y'all are complete degens for for buying that um, but anyhow, the rule here, um, no super chats, please. They won't be prioritized. And we prioritize requests that have the full name. That's super important because there's so many projects that copy each other's ticker symbols and it's confusing as hell. So I need full name, ticker symbol, and something interesting that you know to share with everyone else. Okay, we need something interesting the point here is sharing alpha with everyone. Everyone will thank you. Should I convert my Cardano into Solana? Cardano has been lagging big time, man. I'm not lying. Not only Cardano, Avalanche too. Um, Solana has been doing well. I think the other ones will get their pump. But I don't think it's a bad idea to convert some Cardano into Solana. Not all. Not all. I would not convert all. But some. Amazing clear audio. That's just like I like to hear. Um, okay. Let us see which com Remember comments. If you want me to look at your project, give me the full name, ticker symbol, and something interesting about it. And then I will most likely look at it. Okay, Goldbean, B-A-X. 
Okay, this is good, but you didn't tell me the full name. I'll still look at it though, but please full name next time. It's an FCA registered crypto company similar to the SEC in the USA. They got that license after the 2021 bull run. They're providing peer-to-peer financial services similar to the bank, to banks, but on chain. B-A-X. I hope it's this one. BAB. Let us check the website first. Okay, taking some time to load. The heck? Okay, world's first hybrid BAB, BAB account. Okay, so it's mostly for Great Britain, UK. This is like a, a very, very small um, crypto.com. Bab was born in 2018. Okay. Clearbing, Signum, LHV. It's like a very small crypto.com. Tokenomics seem okay. Accessible. KuCoin, if you use KuCoin. Uh, it's not bad. I would say it's, it's not bad. Oh, wow. Look at these pumps and dumps. The heck? That is not good, folks. Look at this price chart. It's an older project. And then first pump largest, second pump smaller. And then maybe this is the third pump. Can it get there again? That would be a 10x to previous, to last cycle all-time highs. I... It could, but I don't, I wouldn't bet that it would exceed uh, this first cycle all time high, which is pure speculation and euphoria. That's my take. Not the most excited about it, but I think it's okay. Crypto Whale 007, buy the dip, average down, stay solid, don't give up, keep buying, must reward later. Y'all are saying a lot of meme coins. I'm not the meme coin channel. There's a lot of Twitter accounts and channels that are focused on meme coins. Look, meme coins, I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't think they're scams per se. Well, some of them may be, but I just think it's like greater full theory that people say Bitcoin is, but speed run in like one one hundredth of the time span everything is a speed run like pumps and then let me see slur no 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 boom coin dex boom coin like everything is just a huge pump and dump in the meme coin space um slurf let me see this slurf thing. On chain explorers. Slurf. Slurf soul. Yeah, everything is just a pump and dump in the meme coin space, in my opinion. Um, oh, AIT protocol mountain man. First official subnet of BitTensor data infrastructure for AI. Okay. BitTensor, I do own Tau, BitTensor Tau. I called it an AI meme coin before, but I may have to eat my words on it. Um, as it does look like there's adoption and people building inside their ecosystem. Uniswap, not liking the circulating market cap, looks very low. AIT protocol. And their Twitter. AI data infrastructure. Train, learn, earn with AI solution. Intersection of AI and blockchain. Annotation and training of AI models highly oh okay so this is kind of like a um scale 
AI, but a crypto competitor. Streamline your data analytics workflow, earn tokens. Yeah, this is this is not bad. This is not bad. Um, 43 million, 600 million, six. I could see this number 10x. Look how big the difference is between circulating market cap and fully diluted. That's a huge difference. So I wouldn't hold this too long, but I think it could do I I think it could do 10x easily um if the bull market continues to roar. So, yeah. AIT protocol I do like. AIT I'm going to write that down. Um Axie Infinity, does anyone actually play it anymore? It kind of like died, right? I know they keep building stuff, but look. Look at this massive peak and then it like died. <laughs> People stopped playing it because the price dropped so much. But let's see. I know they've been building more things. Oh, is this like a card game now? Let's see. Build your collection. The problem is it costs so much to get started at the beginning. Season 8, classic guilds. No, oh, you could buy them for cheap these days. No one's speculating on them. Oh, wow. This one costs a thousand bucks. This one costs ten thousand bucks. This one looks cute. Only a hundred bucks. But that's the issue. They need to let more people play and get started. But I guess these two dollars is easy to get started. Does anyone here still play Axie? Let us know in the um, comments if you guys, if anyone plays Axie. Like, actually for fun, not to make money. FLT Fluence Deepin Project Cloudless just got launched. Thank you, Trader Dexy, for following our um, approach. FLT. Fluence. Well, I don't. FLT Fluence Deepin Project. Fluence Deepin. Cloudless Computing. So this is similar to. Oh, okay. Ethereum mainnet. This is similar to um, Filecoin or other similar ones. Filecoin is the biggest one in the niche. Yeah, this looks promising, but why it just went live? FLT. Fluence Dex Screener. Is it on Dex Screener? Fluence. Okay. Let's check this out. Is this even the right one? Fluence. Which one has the most liquidity? market cap no this can't be it this can't be the right fluence it may not be that accessible yet it's not even on coin market cap let's see if coin gecko has fluence fluence so okay looks promising i'm going to write it down However, I don't think the token is really accessible quite yet, Trader Dexy, unless you let us know. Bonk to sell or hold. 
I mean, maybe you should ask a chart trader that because I have no idea. It's a meme coin, one of the most popular ones on Solana. Honestly, that depends on if meme coin season continues. If it still is here, this could maintain these high levels in my opinion. But if meme coin season is over, it's going to go sideways at best. So that's my quick take on bunk. Binayak, thank you. Avo, options, perp strategies, all in one place. That's exactly the format I want to see. Avo, been dropping, but it launched in March. So not bad. Let's see, circulating supply, 10%-ish, 11% only. Not great. Fully diluted valuation, market cap already quite high. OKX, Binance. So AVO reminds me of GMX. AVO, no. Oh wait, can I do the conversion? AVO converter to um someone said that coin gecko had a way to convert projects that like compare market caps you know i'm trying to do market cap of mm, products anyone know how to do that the market cap comparison because avo is not in here in market cap of but i guess i could do it manually 200 million to gmx which is at 400 million only 2x wow that makes avo 2 let's see dydx 1 billion okay so avo if it were to reach this 1.5 7.5x to reach DYDX if you want to compare um, AVO to a leader in its niche. Manta Network. I do like Manta. I believe this is a great L2 project and expected to reach 25 or 20 bucks in 2025. Uh, that depends on the market, Abdul, but depends on the market. But let's see. Let us see, uh, Manta. I do like Manta. I do have a little bit of it. It launched very recently in January of this year. Binance, yeah, a lot of places. Um, circulating supply only 25%. Not good. Explore zero knowledge with modular blockchain on Ethereum. Manta Pacific. Is the first EVM equivalent ZK application platform that's scalable and secure through Celestia and Polygon. And I believe Manta is on both Ethereum and Polkadot. Manta Pacific, Manta Atlantic. is yeah i believe manta atlantic polka dot if i'm not mistaken yeah manta atlantic is polka dot parachain as well so they have both i do like manta tokenomics may not be amazing but I think it's a great L2 project, just like Abdul said. Bro, be nice. I don't really talk about meme coins that much, but some people like them, so I think it's fine. Personally, I'm not going to partake in meme coin mania, though. CTK Shintu? The first blockchain enabling decentralized security oracle. Okay, that's a lot of buzzwords, but let's see what it's about. Uh, Shentu? 
Okay, 100 mil. All, ooh, look at this. Circulating supply equals total supply. Uh, 2020, a little bit of an older project. Not my biggest fan. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Binance, okay. Never heard this before. I learned something new. Shen Tu Chain. This sounds like a Chinese project. Deep Wallet Explorer. Security Oracle. I don't know. This doesn't excite. Security Oriented Blockchain. Provable Trust. Shen to CTK thread. Let's see if anyone has written a thread about it. Wow, 2020. Um, not a lot of threads on Shen to. Okay. I've seen enough. I'm not that excited about it. Thank you for sharing those, Zach. Yes, Mountain Man, I already took a look at that. Thank you. Um, Adarsh, stream for specific narrative. Like, what do you suggest? Please let me know in the comments what you mean. I'd be open to um, considering it. Yes, they are. Yet yeah, people do make millions off of it. But it is musical chairs in a, in a speed run manner. Oh yeah, Avo is is related to Ribbon, right? Avo Ribbon. Remember Ribbon Finance? Avo formerly known as Ribbon Finance. Ah, yeah. I like I liked Ribbon. High performance order book decentralized exchange. Yeah. I remember Ribbon, it was DeFi Derivatives. DeFi Derivatives. Liminal, what do you mean? All our streams are discussing projects. Veracity, VRA. This was KuCoin best performer or one of them last bull run. Advertising sector. Patented reward video module rewards users for watch. See, my problem with these is that it just doesn't have mainstream adoption and never will. Like, they tried it, but honestly, how many people are using it? I may eat my words if I'm wrong, but I don't think anyone's using it. Look, massive pump in 2021. Will it ever get there? I don't think so. Only 10% circulating? Come on, team. Veracity. Why is it in Chinese? Oh, maybe because I'm... Okay, the new standard in transparency. Transforming the black box, black box ad fraud industry. See, this is great. Their mission is great. But are they actually getting adopted by the traditional Web 2 industry? My bet is no. My bet is no. My bet is no. Let's see what Twitter has to say about veracity thread. 2021, nothing new, no new excitement or posts. Okay, progress updates, significant significant growth in the VRA ecosystem has been observed over the recent months, expanding risk range of products. Vera ads onboard Web3 publishers and brands into Vera views, monetized video inventory. Okay, see, this is great. This is great. Great products, great goal, gold bean, but excite it's an older project, excitement isn't there. 
I question if anyone's actually going to adopt their products. Mass adoption, I question that. And hence, I'm not that excited about it. Um, no, Dill Pickle, that's not how you do it. Uh, apologies if you're just joining and haven't heard. The way you do it is full name, ticker symbol, and something interesting about it to share with everyone. And then you'll have a much higher likelihood of getting chosen. Um, speaking of which, we have a lot of other projects to dissect and research briefly together during the stream. But first... I want to share with you a quick message from our partners and sponsors, Three Commas, and then I will be right back afterwards to continue researching great projects with y'all. All right, folks, today I want to share with you three reasons to try out Trading Bots by Three Commas, who's also the partner and sponsor of our channel. It's actually three specific bots that you should try out. And if you hear me out, I think you'll understand why they are so valuable to all sorts of traders out there. First is their DCA bot. This is the most basic and flexible bot that they have. You can set it up to do almost anything. But in general, you can use it in bull markets to buy when certain conditions hit and then automatically take profit when it rises. And on the flip side, when prices start to drop, you can use it to sell an asset and buy back lower. Honestly, there's so many things you can do with their DCA bots, but the beauty of it is that there's a preset marketplace for them. So you can browse and copy them with a click of a button if you don't want to set it up yourself. Anyhow, the second bot you've got to know is their grid bot. Now this is amazing for sideways periods or times of high volatility because it sets orders for you in an interval grid. Like it places buy orders when the price drops in the grid's range and sell orders when it rises in that range. So basically it's doing the buy low sell high strategy over and over again But this way is way better than doing it manually where you'd have to set a bunch of limit orders and that would take forever Anyhow grid bots performed amazingly during the pre bull market phase when there was a lot of sideways chop And I think it could also perform really well after massive rallies when your coins need some time to cool off before their next leg up so those two bots are cool, but don't sleep on this third one, which is the most flexible one of them all. It's called Signal Bot, and that works for all sorts of market conditions. Basically, it takes your technical analysis and chart indicators and creates an automated strategy based on that. It's designed to work with TradingView, which is the most popular charting platform out there. So if you follow a TA specialist or have your own indicator perhaps, then this can work off of those. Like let's say you're using an indicator called Coinsider's Momentum Bands. Well, you can set up a bot to automatically open a trade when it hits a certain value and then close that trade when it hits another value. So that's an incredibly simple explanation, but I think you get the idea. And yeah, I hope this gives you a better sense of what these three common spots can do. And if any of that interests you, then you can sign up using my link below to get a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me there. Um, if you want, if you're interested, link below to get, like I said, a um, free trial plus up to 50% off your first subscription. But now let's get back into the research. Okay, next one was this Andres. Um, check out Blackie Phantom. Phantom ecosystem is like dead though, right? Let's see. Blackie, this is a meme coin, isn't it? You gave me a meme coin, didn't you? Uh, Blackie Phantom. Let me search Twitter. The cutest meme token on Phantom. Okay, folks, if y'all like meme coins, maybe check out the one that he said, but I'm not going to buy it myself. I'm not endorsing it. Casper be the second best... No, Caspa will not be the second best. I was wrong about Caspa. I did not think it would get this high. But I'm still going to fade Caspa, especially during the next bear market. I think Caspa is going to quote unquote die off. Uh, honestly, I have just a bunch of splatterings of ones. Like, you know, ones we talked about before. A lot of layer twos, like... 
Scale, Manta, Sui, Say, Aptos, Solana, um, Dia. I'm just naming random ones. I have like 20 ones I just like bought, but I may sell some. I may take profits later as well. XX Network of David Chom, Layer 1 on the world's most private comms network. Please review. Uh, Aslihan. XX Network of David Chom? Am I supposed to know who David Chom is? I'm, I'm, my apologies if, if I'm supposed to know. Okay. XX Network. What is this? 2022. Market cap is kind of... Only on Mex C? Come on. I don't want to use Mex C. Screw Mex C. Okay. This better not be some like adult entertainment thing that you made me look up. What is XX Network? Full stack. Okay. Quantum resistant. See, I would bet that no real serious team is building on the XX network. Validators, market cap, active accounts. Only 183 transfers. New accounts, only 10,000, less than 10,000 accounts. How new is this? How new is this? Uh, resources. This looks new. But wait. The price has been since 2022. It's been around for over a year. What is, let me look up. David Chom. Oh, famous American computer scientist and cryptographer. Um, XX Network. David Chom is the original founder of XX Network. Okay. Not bad, I guess. I'm not really that excited about it, though. Even though he may be a famed computer scientist. Stop asking about meme coins. Those are built entirely on speculation. Hype, pump, and dump. Yep. <laughs> My opinion, too. Biggest wallet on Boom is Binance with 49%. That's not Binance holding it. It's it's Binance holding it for all the retail investors. So I don't think that analysis is right. Veracity does have AI ML narrative. I don't think that's a strong narrative for it unless it completely rebrands around that narrative. Pal AI advanced personal mountain man knows how to do the format i'm looking for pal ai advanced personal customizable multi-platform crypto ai bots also incubating ait protocol a lot of buzzwords but let's take a look at it pal wow okay uh Tokenomics look good. Price chart looks strong. Uniswap. Okay, not bad. Create and integrate advanced crypto and AI bots. There are no limits. Ooh, this looks useful. Bots for crypto. See, this looks useful, but it's niche. This is really niche. This is like AI product for crypto. Now, it has a strong narrative, of course. But if you think about it, the like what it's trying to do isn't that big. It's not trying to revolutionize like AI, like BitTensor is, right? This is just to help out crypto 
users or projects with AI bots. It's cool, it's cool, but it, wow, 400, almost 500 million? This is purely narrative, guys. Think about it. Think about it. Why should this project that does AI bots for crypto be worth like billions? I'm not saying I'm not saying that it won't be. I'm saying why should it be? Right? The reason why it is is because of its narrative, but it's a relatively um like tiny and constrained use case, right? That's my strong opinion, but don't take that as my prediction that it won't go up. I think it may go up a lot more. It's AI, it has AI in the name narrative matters a lot in the short to midterm delip thapa um carbon browser csix loads web pages oh so this is like brave okay let's take a look carbon browser Okay, hopefully that's on here too. It is, yay, Brave. Wait, what is the Brave token? Oh, it's BNT. Wait, no, not BNT. Um, Brave token, coin market cap. It's just Brave. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's basic attention token. I'm stupid. I knew it was something like that. Okay, so if this gets to the same level as BAT, it can do a 12x, all-time high 80x. So let's take a look. Carbon browser. Um, circulating supply looks okay. KuCoin, PancakeSwap, BitGet. It's medium level of accessibility let's see carbon mobile browser browser vpn wallet staking fastest web3 browser with ad block dvpn crypto wallet looks cool do you use it do you like it i do like brave by the way i do like brave browser and i have earned a tiny bit of bat tokens bat rewards yeah, what do you think? Have you used it? This looks interesting. It's not the most accessible, but it is decently accessible. So I'm going to write it down. AVO is integrating with Ribbon as the venue where Ribbon's options contracts settle. This means Ribbon's vaults can drive consistent flow to AVO. That is great alpha, Vinayak. Y'all hear that? AVO and Ribbon are one entity now. And I do like them both. The graph, new LLM and AI chatbot agent. Really, Torek? They're doing that? The graph. Okay, let's see. Thousands of open APIs. Where is their AI LLM? The graph, AI LLM. Using AI to enhance graph network. This was published a year ago, though. The graph. Graph. Graph protocol LLM. Let's see what you're talking about. It will be rolling out an AI LLM data service on top of its existing indexer network. Decentralized AI. New list. Decentralized AI. AI running on local computers. The crypto's payment system. 
new genre of companies. Decentralized AI, wow. Okay, there's a bunch of random stuff. Um, okay, I like that, but the graph is already quite big, right? Let's see, how big is it? Three billion already, wow. Graph is already high. Yeah, it's it's already high. I mean, can it go to 30 billion? Honestly, I'd be quite surprised. Let's see. Near protocol is at 6 billion. Can the graph go to 30 billion? Uh, I don't know, man. What do you think? Do you think it can? QNT, I do not like. I like Chainlink a lot more. RWAs, I like Centrifuge. I like Ondo. I like a lot of those, actually. Let's take a look at RWAs. Uh, RWA coin market cap category. Top real world assets tokens. A lot of these I don't even consider real world assets tokens, but Ondo is. Um, Centrifuge is. TrueFi is. Goldfinch is. Yeah, if you want true RWA tokens, go to rwa.xyz and you'll see the ones that are actually getting used. Centrifuge, Maple, Goldfinch, Credix, TrueFi, Homecoin, Ribbon Lend. Those are actually getting used. Those are the ones I would pick from, Rico. Oh, compared to other channels. Got it. Thank you. Um, Mobox, a gaming ecosystem that combines blockchain technology with yield farming, fighting, and RPG games. As always, I think in order for any gaming project to succeed, it needs fun games. Repeat after me. It needs fun games. Most of them do not have fun games. But let's say Mobox. Wow. Look at it. It died after 2011 cycle. 46% circulating. 110 mil. Binance. Okay. Mobox. Do you play this is the question. Momoverse. Coll all these collecting things, I don't like those games. Anyone actually play those games? Like, where, where's their first-person shooter games? You know, I want to play, like, Fortnite, but with crypto. Trending games. I don't think these games are even, like, super fun or well-adopted, per se. So, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of Mobox, but thank you for sharing it. Yes, this is live. <laughs> Doge has barely moved compared to the meme coins, Walt Snoop. So if I were to buy meme coins, I probably wouldn't buy Doge. I'd buy the other hotter ones. But I can't tell you if it's too late to buy that. Um, depends on where the market moves and depends on if meme coin season, how long it's going to last. Dynex for Neuromorphic Computing Platform. Sounds fancy. Let's take a look. Dynex DNX since 2023, relatively newer project, not the most accessible, 
people, but gate.io, I guess you can use 78% circulating. That's good. Dynex is global network of decentralized supercomputing. Neuromorphic. What is neuromorphic anyways? Neuromorphic definition. Neuromorphic inspired by the structure and function of human brains. Okay. Supercomputing for everyone. Proof of useful work. Utilizes the GPU to solve real world problems. GPU is being utilized. That's a lot. That's a lot. Fair start. No pre mine. I like that. Finite supply. Okay, let's see. Dynex. 80 mil. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Aurora has a partnership with HBAR and NEAR. Partnership for what? Aurora, HBAR, NEAR. NEAR Protocol's EVM compatible chain, Aurora, have now in integrated with Hashport. Hashport. Hashgraph. Hedera. Oh, so it's just like integrating with the bridge aurora but aurora is like nears bridge right aurora is a next generation ethereum compatible blockchain that runs on near protocol yeah i like aurora i've looked into it before i like it probably very high already 170 mil oh not that high This could go much higher. EVM on. Okay, what is it compared to? Let's see. Aurora. Let's see. Uh, Moonbeam. Really? No Moonbeam? Astar. 4x, 6x. Yeah, Aurora is solid. If you're in for a solid project, then Aurora is good. It's not going to give you the most gains, but I like it. Corn pipe, Flux, building the largest decentralized. GPU network for AI and cloud gaming yet to pump. Okay, let's see. Flux. What do you mean? This has pumped. Run on Flux. Let me close some of these. Build on Web3. Flux Cloud cost. Four hundred mil market cap already. Okay, let us compare Flux to uh wait. What is its sector again? Decentralized cloud. Is that like a Kosh network? 2.77x, 3x. See, it doesn't have that much upside left, I feel like. 10x to 4 billion if everything goes right. But that's a lot to ask for them. 
David Chom, I should definitely know. I definitely heard of him before, but I see he's a famous computer scientist. A renowned one. Oh, might be Satoshi. Okay, got it. Let's see. A lot of stuff. Like I said, big tensor, I was, I have Tau. I hold Tau. Um, not the most. I hold some Tau. I was cope about it before. I thought it was an AI meme coin, but it looks like they're actually getting adoption and a growing ecosystem of subnets. So I can't, I can't hate adoption. That's all I'm going to say. Yes, you can definitely watch the stream afterwards if you go to our YouTube page and click on the live tab. Can you explain more about Ondo? Yes, I can. Ondo.finance. So these are real world assets, right? US treasuries, US money markets, US dollar yield. They are tokenizing this and letting people buy a token that gives them this real world yield. That's it. Real world assets, real world yield, not fake yield like from token inflation or some Luna Ponzi. This is real yield. The problem is not everyone can buy these tokens. You got to be like accredited investors, got to go through KYC and whatnot. But this is real world assets. It's a great project. Best deep in projects. Well, Helium is one. Deep in sector coin market cap. Deep in. Uh, render, Filecoin. Some of these I wouldn't really consider deep in. Helium, for sure. Live Peer. Uh, Helium Mobile. Fala Network. Fala Network. Hive Mapper definitely is one. World Mobile Token definitely. This is Cardano ecosystem. Amulet Amu in the Solana ecosystem yield aggregator. Is this legit? Like, do you think it's a scam or something? Or legit as in like promising? Amulet, 7 mil only, 20 mil. Okay, is this legit? Earn safely. The first yield protocol with built-in protection. If they're really backed by these folks, I think they're legit. Okay. Partners, are these real? Or are they fake? That matters a lot. It matters a lot. Is it? Oh, team and community. Uh. Okay. Do they have a real team? Or is it a, a non-team? I don't like anonymous teams. So this is a, a non-team. I don't like it. Otherwise, I think it looks decent I think it looks decent backed by Solana Ventures, Gummy Crypto, and Amoka Brands this looks decent no problem that it's not a dark pool though but it's doing DeFi stuff. Yeah, near the biggest coup that near pulled was getting rebranded as an AI token. I think it's because its founder has uh, Ilya Push. Is this the guy? No, near founder Ilya Polo. Okay, I think he has some AI background. That's why. Why is one of the founding fathers of generative AI? 
Yeah. And then he is giving a talk at uh, NVIDIA, too. Transforming AI at their conference, which is going on now. Ah, right here, near protocol. Ilya, see, look, he's giving a talk um, on stage at the at NVIDIA's conference. So, yeah, I guess that can make them an quote-unquote AI project. Boots of Leather, Moonwell, Moonbeam's Orca. Orca is the Dex on Solana. Built by Coinbase's lead staking dev, used by base. Everything you said about that, I like. Moonwell. Especially the fact that it's used by base. 43 mil. Only 34 mil circulating. KuCoin, Stellaswap. Not the most accessible. Price is rocketing. But down from 2022... Moonwell, lending made simple. Put your asses to work. Get started. Okay. Um, Moonwell on base. Whoops. Base blockchain. Moonwell is an open lending and borrowing protocol on Base, Moonbeam, and Moon River. Yeah. Um, apologies. Let me. Wait, where did I put my other? Oh, right here. Moonwell, 43 mil. It, I think it has room to run, actually. I like it. I'm putting it down on my short list. Thank you, Boots of Leather. I did not, but I remember it being promising. Most important crypto project. I wouldn't go that far, but I think it is promising. Yes, I am holding Dia, but not long term. Don't hold it into the bear market. Just choose like one or two. You don't have to invest in all of them. Choose one or two of your favorite ones. All right, folks, I had a lot of fun today. Um, as you can see, I'm in a hotel room. I'm traveling right now. I will try to do more live streams because bull market's not resting, so we can't rest. Even though I am kind of jet lagged right now, so I am tired. Um, excuse me if I'm not as ener energetic, energetic as usual. Um, but someone said before that they want me to read off the short list that we came up with during the stream. So this stream's short list was AIT. It, and by the way, short list doesn't mean I'm buying all of them or even any of them. It's just ones that I deem worthy of... Um, worthy of further research and maybe you want to buy some afterwards let's see wow wait 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 this is really important this is really important uh what is going on what is going on SEC waging campaign to classify Ethereum as a security. Probe came after shift to proof of stake. Waging an energetic legal campaign to classify Ethereum as a security. According to U.S. companies that have received subpoenas related to an investigation. Delivers further blow to the crypto industry's hopes that the agency will approve applications by BlackRock. Ooh, BlackRock may lose... One of their um, ETF applications because they remember how BlackRock has like a 538 to 1 record. They never lose for ETF applications. Well, it looks like they're going to lose for the Ethereum ETF application. 
Ethereum Foundation under investigation by state authority. Wow. ETH is ETH dropping a lot? Yeah, ETH is dropping because of that. Look at this. Look at this going off a cliff. Crazy. What do y'all think about that? But yeah, other way projects, uh, my short list doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. But further research, AIT, Fluence, DNX, Aurora, CSIX, AMU, and Well. All right. Um, and don't forget, thank you to our partner and sponsor, Three Commas. If you want to try out their bots, free trial and um, up to 50% off your first subscription. I'm Kevin. Um, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. And I'll check y'all, I'll catch y'all on the next one.